So when I first heard about OWI branching out into the Starship Troopers IP, I was hesitant, not because I'm a fan of the movies, but because it's always interesting to see a development team branch out into new territory after spending so much time on their beloved. Squad has been such a delight to watch grow since their Kickstarter days, and now it's time for something new. And that something is full of bugs. Just not the kind I usually cover on this channel. Look at the fucking shell on that one! Game over, man! Game over! Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I shouldn't have jumped! Oh! Fuck you! I see you, I see you, I see you! I'm just repairing walls! Ah! Ah! Uh, Jesus fucking Christ! Behind you, Fuzz! Go, go, go! Go, Fuzzy, go! There's so many! Go! This is not good. This is not good! Uh, get to the chopper! Uh, fuck, 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 fuck! Nobody gets left behind! Get the fuck in, get the fuck in! Where are you, where are you? Go, go, go! Let's go! <laughs> Fucking bugs! This mission was a shit show! Keep moving forward, keep pushing, do not stop! The oh, fuck? Oh! Son of a bitch! 10%, 10%, come on, come on. 10%, hold it, yeah, let's fucking go! Oh, sh shit. Oh my god, get the fuck out of here! Holy shit. Oh no! no. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Bro, that is so fucking. Starship Troopers Extermination has released into early access on Steam at a price point of $24.99. And it's bringing the heat. Classes, progression, base building, wave survival, hordes of bugs, and a bit of an extraction shooter formula has been added to the mix, and it all works extremely well together. The gameplay in today's video is from a Twitch stream I did yesterday, so follow me over there for damn near daily streams in between everything else I got going on with YouTube and game development. Also keep in mind this is an early access release, meaning a bunch of things will change as development continues. The game has three classes for you to play as, your Hunter Assault class, the Bastion Heavy class, and your Operator who is your support infantry. I played mainly Hunter during my time, and what's cool is you can level these classes to unlock new weapons, gadgets, and perks that make fighting bugs a little easier. The game features two different modes in its current early access state. You have AAS, or Advanced and Secure, which pits 16 players against a never-ending swarm of bugs. You have to move together to take control of different sites, moving from point to point to make a forward push, build ore refineries on these sites to then build up your final HQ, and then the final wave happens. More bugs than I've ever seen in my life, and they're coming for that ass. Your job in this mode is to protect what they call the Ark for a set amount of time, and once that happens, you've done your part, and now it's time to get the hell off the planet. An extraction begins, and you need to get to that ship before it leaves, which is my favorite part of this game, hands down. That intensity of the extraction shooter genre, with the co-op chaos and the bugs, while also trying to help make sure your teammates actually make it to the ship with you, it's an insane thing to see, and easily the best part of this game. The other game mode is called Arc, which is kind of the same thing, but instead of moving from point to point, you basically start at your base of operations, and you need to move out to bring ore and gas to the base to build it up. Now, I only ended up playing this once because you have to level up to get, I believe, rank 5 to unlock this mode. I will say it was weird because we needed to bring gas canisters to the base, and unlike in AAS, there was only one point to grab the gas from, whereas in AAS, there's a bunch 
bunch of different ore refineries that you can build up. So people were transporting canisters left, right, and center. But in Ark, you can only do it once at a time. So you build up the refinery. It takes 30 seconds to fill up a gas canister. And then once you run back one or two, there's like a 90 second cooldown on the refinery to build up two more so we had to bring eight to the base and it ended up taking like 20 minutes just to move the gas it drug the game out so goddamn long that i just wanted out of the mode and i wanted to go back to aas there definitely needs to be a balance in the playtime in that one or maybe it was just the map that we spawned on i have no idea but it really made me not want to play it again another mode which we don't have access to yet is called horde which sounds exactly like arc but maybe you don't need the resources in this one it's all about base building i'm not sure yet the class leveling is actually pretty cool. There's 20 ranks to go through that unlock things like new weapons and gadgets. Now, there aren't a lot of weapons in the game right now. And on top of that, there's really no way to customize weapons yet, which I hope comes in the future. Being able to work up to unlock different sites and attachments would be so cool in this because using iron sights is okay. There's just, there definitely needs to be more to work towards with the weapons. So I leveled my hunter to level six or seven. I unlocked a new rifle, cluster grenades, a new perk that reduces damage as well as c4 charges which by the way the c4 charges are fucking lame because you have to place them down and being able to predict where the bugs are going to path to is pretty tough make them a throwable like other games do and it would make them so much easier and actually worth it to use that's just my two cents on the hunter class so far I'll say this, I ended up playing about four hours yesterday on stream, and while I had a really good time, I could definitely start feeling that repetitiveness creep in a little bit. I pretty much seen everything the game has to offer outside of the class unlocks that you can keep working towards, but the gameplay loop is very repetitive. I'd love to see different squads having to split up more and do more intense, focused objectives. Right now, a lot of them are, this squad goes, captures this site, you guys gotta kill 40 bugs over here, you guys gotta go grab ore, build up the refineries, and then just bring them back to the base, and it's the same thing essentially every time. If we can start getting more variety in the missions and actually making the teams and the squads have to split up a bit more and move around these large maps, that's when I think this game could truly shine. According to a review on the Steam page, modding support will not be added to the game. Community servers will also not be added, as well as a server browser, which is pretty disappointing for a game that I think relies on communities and larger teams with communication. I'd love for those decisions to be reversed, but maybe they learned a thing or two with their time from squad that made them go in this direction. Do I think a game deserves a negative review due to lack of mod support? No. But when you have people trying to connect from places like Australia and there's no Australian servers, their pings are gonna be out to lunch and having no option to then host your own server to play with your friends is definitely a bummer. The only bug I ran into that wasn't trying to eat my face was when I got stuck in the ground right before an extraction started I just, I don't give a fuck. I might be killing teammates with these RPGs. I don't even care. I just went down and laid a bunch of charges. I think I blew myself up. Oh, I'm up. Holy fucking shit. Wait, I'm, I think I'm, with my bot. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in the ground. What the fuck is going on? Oh, no. Help. I'm stuck in the fucking ground. Help me. Oh no, what do I, do? hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. Oh no. We got it, we got it complete. I know, I'm stuck in the fucking ground. Ah, I'm fuzzy. Oh fuck, I can't get, ah, uh, uh, help. I'm over here. Help me, help me. My, my fucking legs are stuck in the ground. Ah. Ah! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 no. No. I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I should I should be able to get picked up. Two more steps, I'm coming. Oh my god. I'm dead. Where are we going? I'm dead. I I don't know. I'm dead. Try to save the no leg fucking Magoo over here. Oh my god! I fucking made it, boys! I made it! And I eventually got out, but, uh, unfortunately, she, uh, she got left behind in the rescue attempt. Look, 
Look, I had to, okay? She did her part. Right now, for a $24.99 PvE horde shooter, it's pretty fucking cool. But I can foresee some people growing tired of the game rather quickly, so just bear that in mind. It's still early access, and it still has a long way to go. But if you're jumping in casually with your friends for a mindless afternoon or two of bug shooting, Starship Troopers Extermination is actually a really fun time. Have you guys tried the game for yourselves? And if so, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're not going to try it out, let me know. Let's start a conversation. And while you're down there, leave a like on the video and subscribe for everything FPS related. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one.